Hello everyone, welcome back to Seams and Notches. Thank you so much for joining in. If this is your very first time, welcome to the family. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining us again. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button and comment down below on what next you want to see on our channel. Without any further ado, let's get started. So for today's tutorial, we are going to be taking the following measurement. We're going to take the chest measurement, the side depth measurement, neck measurement, back neck to waist measurement, half back measurement, and as well as the length of our shirt. So feel free to use whatever length you want for your shirt. And bear in mind, we are using UK size 38, and that is for menswear. These are the tools that we are going to be using today. With me here, I have got my pattern paper and when it comes to pattern paper make sure you use whatever um serve the purpose all you need is to make sure it's wide enough for your pattern and you are good to go i've got my l square ruler and to be honest this is really not important if you've got a straight ruler that is fine um i'm just using my l square ruler to make you know the whole process easy for me um i've got my measuring tape as well i have got my pattern master these are for curves and i have got my pencil i have got my paper scissors i haven't got my fabric scissors here today because we are not going to be cutting into any fabric today and i have got my masking tape or cello tape if you've got one and that is all we have for you so first of all i am going to draw um, a vertical line that is equal to 31 inches and that is the length of my shirt block so i am going to start maybe three inches from the edge of my paper and um from the top of my pattern paper i'm just going to measure two inches so i have enough space around the pattern and i'm just going to mark a point here and this is going to be the starting point of my vertical line, which is exactly the length of my shirt block. So I am going to draw in or rather measure 31 inches. So I'm going to draw a vertical line and that will be 31 inches. Like I said, you can um, use whatever measurement you've got. I am going to use 31 that is just a personal preference so so now we have the length of our shirt um before we commence on drafting our patterns what i need to let you know is that for the process or duration of this um, pattern drafting i am going to be using both inches and centimeters so in case maybe at some point you get confused just remember that i'm going to be using centimeters and inches so i just wanted to give you a heads up before we go further into what we have for you today so remember i'm going to be using centimeters and i'm going to also be using inches so don't get it confused all right so the next thing we are going to do we, we are going to measure three centimeters from the top of our vertical line and we're going to measure downwards three centimeters i'm just going to call this um point zero I'm going to name this point zero three centimeters from point zero i'm going to place a mark there and i'm going to mark this as point one so point zero point one so that's three centimeters and for point two we're going to measure um 24.4 centimeters from point one and we are going to add four centimeters for ease so that's 24.4 centimeters plus four centimeters and that would be 28.4 centimeters so we're going to mark 28.4 centimeters from point one and that will give us point two and that is for our side depth or side arm depth so we are going to mark point two so 28.4 and that is 0.2 so for point three we are going to measure our back neck to 
waist measurement and which is 44.2 centimeters and we are going to place our measuring tape on point one and we're going to measure downwards 44.2 centimeters downwards and that will be point three and remember that is our back neck to waist measurement and that is point three And for point four, which is the length of our shirt, we are going to just mark this as point four. So we have point zero, point one, point two, point three, and point four. So next, we are going to make sure we have... Um, a rectangular shape kind of pattern so um, we need to square our patterns or our points and in order for us to do that we are going to measure starting from point zero we're going to measure a quarter of our chest measurement and we are going to add the ease which is 6.5 centimeters i'm going to write all the calculations on the screen so you don't get confused so that is what we're going to be using to um draw a horizontal line across um all this point and it's going to form a rectangular shape and if you do the math you will um come up with 31.5 centimeters so we're going to measure 31.5 centimeters across um point zero and so I'm going to place my measuring tape here and just mark in or measure 31.5 centimeters. I'm going to mark that as well. From point two, we are going to do the same. So I'm going to place my measuring tape on point two. And that will give me... So I'm going to measure 31.5 as well. So I'm going to do the same for point three and point four. So I'm going to measure 31.5 across. Like I said, refer back to the measurement on the screen and that will give you um, the formula on how we got 31.5. So using my L square ruler, um, this is the reason why I use my L square ruler. It just simplifies things for me, especially measurement on straight lines. So I'm going to measure 31.5 across, placing my ruler at the starting point on point zero and I'm going to square across. So measuring 31.5, I'm going to draw a straight line, a horizontal line. So now we have a kind of rectangular shape. What we need to do, remember we stopped at point four. So the next point is going to be point five. And point five, we are basically going to place our measuring tape on point two and measure 31.5 centimeter so all we need to do is to get a straight ruler and square across to 0.5 so this is 0.5 for 0.6 we are going to call this 0.6 and that's from zero to this point is called point six for point seven we are going to square across from point three and that will be the new point will be point seven so we're just going to place our l square ruler or our ruler make sure it's a straight line you're going to square across and the new point will be point seven so for point eight, which we've already done, is from this point, that's point four, to this point, and this is point eight. So that is for the hemline. 
so now we have the fundamental part um, of our pattern completed we are going to move to the next phase so one fifth of our neck measurement is um, eight centimeters and we are going to take away 0 0.6 centimeters and that will be 7.4 centimeters and that is for um, 0.9 so I'm going to place my um, measuring tape on point one and I'm going to measure from point one 7.4 centimeters from point one and that will be 0.9. So this point is going to be 0.9. So I am going to get my ruler and draw a straight line connecting both point one and nine. For point 10, we are going to measure um, three centimeters from point nine upwards and that will be point 10 so i'm just going to place my ruler because from one to zero is already three centimeters all we need to do is to um connect point nine upwards and that is three centimeters and that will be point 10 So before we get to um, point 11, we are going to draw a back neck line. So we're going to place a um, pattern master from point 10 to point one. We are going to use a curve um, line to join both points. So I'm just going to use broken or dash lines. And this would just indicate that this is the back neck so i have connected both points with a curve line and that will be um a back neck line so for point 11 we are going to measure the distance between one and two and divide that by two whatever answer we get that is going to be a point 11. so i'm just going to measure from point one to two and that is 28.5 centimeters so we're going to divide that by two and that will give us 14.25 so all we need to do is to mark in 14.25 so i'm going to mark that there and that will give me 0.11 so for point 12 we are going to get a half back measurement which is 20 centimeters and we are going to add five centimeters for it so that will be 25 centimeters so we're going to place our ruler or measuring tape we're going to place it on point 11 and measure across 25 centimeters we're just going to mark a point there And that will be point 12. So we are going to use our ruler and join both points together. Make sure it's straight. Sorry, and that will be point 12. So for point 13, we are going to measure as well the same measurement, which is 25 centimeters along um, point 0.2 and point 0.5 along the line. We are going to measure 25 centimeters. So we're going to place our ruler on point 0.2 and measure 25 centimeters. And we are going to join both points. But this new point is going to be point 13. 
and we're going to join both points together. For point 14, we are going to place our ruler on the straight line, which is um, 13 and 12. We're going to place our ruler on the straight line and just continue the line until it meets the um, horizontal line at the top, the top line. So we are going to mark that as point 14. Place your ruler here on the line of 13 and 12 and just draw a continuous line upwards until it meets this horizontal line at the top and this is going to be point 14. So the measurement for point 15 is going to be 24.4 which is the um, side depth measurement and we are going to divide that by eight and that will give us 3.05 centimeters. So once we have that, we are going to subtract 0 0.3 centimeters from that measurement. I'm going to write all on the screen, so don't you worry. Um, yes, so we are going to subtract 0 0.3 centimeters from our measurement. And that will be 2.75 centimeter. And we are going to mark that down as point 15. So we're going to measure from point one, 2.75. And that is round about here. And we are going to call this new point, point 15. So in case you get confused along the way, I have all the measurements on the screen. So you can refer back to those measurements in case you are lost somewhere. So for point 16, we are going to square across a line from point 15, just to draw a straight line. And this will be point 16. So it's just a straight line across point 15. And this point is going to be point 16. So for point 17, we are going to uh, measure from point 16, 1.5 centimeters from point 16. And we're going to measure outwards. So we're going to place our ruler and measure 1.5 centimeters. So that's 1.5 centimeters right there. And we are going to join both points with a straight line. And this new point is going to be point 17. I'm going to write it here so it can be visible for you guys to see. So once that is drawn in, we are going to join point 10 to point 17. And that will give us a shoulder line or shoulder length. So we are going to join both lines together. So what we need to do next is to join point 17.12 and point five and that will form our armhole so we're going to join all the points using our um, pattern master and this is a new armhole so to get point 18 we are going to take our neck measurement which is 40 centimeters and we are going to divide that by five which is one fifth of our neck measurement and that answer will be eight centimeters so once we have eight centimeters we are going to again take away or subtract two centimeters and that will be six centimeters so six centimeters 
is the measurement that we need to mark in point 18. So from point one, we are going to place our measuring tape and measure six centimeters and mark a point there. And that is point 18. Again, you can refer to the uh, measurement on the screen and that will get you going. So what we are going to do next is to join point 10 to point 18 and that will give us the front neck. Again, we are going to use our pattern master to draw in a curve line and that will give us our front neck. So we're going to get our pattern master and we're going to place it, making sure it's giving us a curve that is going to connect 10, point 10 to 18. And we're going to draw a curve line and that will be the front neck line. We are almost done drafting the flat shirt um, pattern or block. And remember, this is the starting point in order for you to start drafting patterns for menswear, especially the upper part of a man's body. So if you want to draft anything like a shirt, um, t-shirts, um, jacket, this is the first stage that you need to know in order for you to start drafting those patterns so um what we need to do i am not going to trace this off because this is like i said a master draft for any um garment for the upper part of the body for menswear so we are going to um leave this as it is fold this pattern into two following the side seam line this line so i'm going to fold my pattern paper on that line so make sure it's exactly on the line so you're going to press your pattern paper together to create that fold line so what we need to do is to trace off and once we fold that you can see the back pattern all we need to do is to use our tracing wheel and to trace off the back pattern Make sure you don't trace the front pattern. So once it's folded, you can see um, we have the back pattern. So all you need to do is to trace off the back pattern piece following the line and trace it all the way. And that will give us the back pattern on the pattern um, paper. So I'm going to first of all just trace this out. So once we're done tracing, we're going to open this up and use a marker or pencil to follow the traced line and that will give us our back and that will give us our back pattern piece. So I'm going to start that by getting my pencil, first of all. So I'm just going to follow the trace line that we previously traced. So I'm just going to follow the dotted lines or the trace lines. So um, what we've done here is we folded the pattern like we did previously and traced off the back pattern piece from our master draft. And once that was done, we had to use our a marker or a pencil to draw in the, the lines for our back pattern piece and there you have it so make sure you have all the lines um, traced out as well so we're going to label this now this is the chest line and this is the waistline and the hem line so don't forget your lines and after that you are done so this is the master draft in order for you to start drafting patterns for men this is the first point especially the upper body, like I said, um, for shirts, um, jackets, um, t-shirts. So that is why we are not tracing off this pattern. We are going to leave this pattern as our master draft, and we are going to walk from this pattern, creating um, varieties of um, styles for men's wear. So we're going to label our lines. This is the chest line.
so we have a master draft ready for the flat shirt block there you have it thank you so much for um joining us today on our tutorial please don't forget to leave your comments please like our videos and if you've not seen other of our videos please make sure you go through our playlist you see some interesting tutorials for you don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms that means a lot to us and until next time, bye for now.